Have you ever wondered how giraffes have such a beautiful gait? Unveiling the wonder of giraffes, we dive into the mystery of their unique gait. Unlike most mammals, giraffes move in a special way. They walk with a grace that's mesmerizing to watch, their long legs moving in pairs on the same side. Yes, you heard that right. When a giraffe walks, its legs on the same side move together. So when it steps forward, it's as if it's gliding on a pair of stilts on each side. Now you may ask, why this unusual gait? It all comes down to the giraffe's incredible height. Standing tall, the tallest land animal on Earth, giraffes can reach an astounding height of up to 18 feet for males and 14 feet for females. This height is a boon for reaching the tops of trees where their favorite leaves reside, but it also presents a challenge for locomotion, and that's where their unique gait comes into play. Moving their legs in pairs on the same side helps them maintain balance and stability, crucial for such a tall creature. It also enables them to move swiftly when they need to. Did you know that giraffes can run at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour in short bursts? Their gait allows them to cover a lot of ground with each stride, up to 15 feet in a single step. But it's not all about speed. This special gait also helps giraffes to navigate their surroundings with elegance and grace, whether they're maneuvering through dense forests or strolling across vast plains. Isn't it just amazing how nature has crafted such a beautiful and effective solution for these magnificent creatures? It's a wonderful reminder of how nature designs each creature in a unique way, tailoring their bodies and behaviors to their environments in the most ingenious ways. Isn't it fascinating how nature designs each creature in a unique way? But there's more to these tall mammals than their gait. Let's delve into the biology of giraffes. You might already know that giraffes are the tallest animals on land, reaching heights of up to 20 feet. That's about as tall as a two-story building. Their incredible height comes mainly from their elongated necks, which can measure up to six feet. But have you ever wondered how these towering creatures manage to pump blood up to their brains? Well, the answer lies in the giraffe's powerhouse, its heart. This organ is a marvel of biological engineering, weighing up to 25 pounds and measuring about two feet long. It's perfectly designed to pump blood with enough force to overcome gravity and reach the giraffe's brain, situated a good six feet above. Now, you might be thinking, with such a long neck, how do giraffes eat and drink without causing themselves harm? Well, nature has equipped giraffes with a unique set of biological adaptations. Their necks contain the same number of vertebrae as humans, just seven, but each one is supersized, allowing for that incredible stretch. When it comes to drinking, giraffes have a bit of a challenge. They have to spread their front legs or bend their knees to reach water, putting them in a vulnerable position. However, they don't need to drink every day. They get most of their water from the leaves they eat and can go for several days without drinking, an adaptation that suits their arid habitat. And let's not forget their unique skin patterns. No two giraffes have the same pattern, just like human fingerprints. These patterns provide excellent camouflage, helping giraffes blend with shadows and foliage, keeping them safe from predators. So every part of a giraffe, from its long neck to its powerful heart, plays a role in its survival. These biological features have been refined over millions of years of evolution, allowing the giraffe to thrive in its unique niche in the wild. Even though giraffes are quite powerful, they have their vulnerable moments too. Now, let's venture into the world of giraffes at their most vulnerable. Consider a giraffe bending down to drink water. It's a moment of risk, as their long necks and high center of gravity can make them unstable. But did you know that giraffes have a built-in safety mechanism to combat this? They splay their front legs wide and bend their knees, lowering their necks to the water surface, always alert to potential dangers. When they lift their heads after drinking, they do so slowly to prevent dizziness. From the sudden rush of blood to the head, it's a delicate ballet of survival honed over millions of years of evolution. Sleeping is another vulnerable time for these gentle giants. Giraffes sleep for just a few minutes at a time and for no more than 30 minutes a day. They have one of the shortest sleep requirements of any mammal, which is quite an interesting cocktail party fact. But it's not just about being early risers or late night party animals. This sleep pattern helps giraffes remain vigilant against predators. You see, when a giraffe decides to catch some shut-eye, it tucks its legs under its body and lowers its neck in a beautiful curve, sometimes resting its head on its rump. This position allows them to spring up quickly if they sense danger. Some giraffes even sleep standing up with their eyes open, so predators have a tough time telling if they're asleep or awake. 
These seemingly simple behaviors are, in fact, finely tuned survival strategies that have helped giraffes thrive in the wild. They're a testament to the incredible adaptability of these animals, a constant reminder of the intricate dance between vulnerability and resilience in the natural world. Indeed, even the tallest animal on Earth has its weak moments, but it knows how to protect itself. Tune in next time as we delve into the social life of these fascinating creatures. Giraffes are not loners. They have a fascinating social life. Now, you might look at a giraffe and think that's a solitary animal, but you'd be mistaken. Giraffes are social creatures, preferring to live in groups, though not in the same way we often see with other animals. These groups, known as towers, can range from a few individuals to a couple dozen, changing frequently as giraffes come and go. While giraffes don't form strong social bonds like elephants or dolphins, their social structure is still complex. The composition of a tower is fluid, with giraffes freely moving between different towers. This social fluidity is quite unique in the animal kingdom, reflecting the giraffe's laid-back attitude. But don't let their relaxed demeanor fool you. Giraffes have intricate methods of communication, many of which are still a mystery to us. They communicate using a combination of visual and chemical signals, and recent studies suggest they might even use infrasound, a low-frequency sound that humans can't hear. You might wonder, how do giraffes establish relationships well, giraffes have a unique ritual called necking to determine social hierarchy. In this ritual, two males swing their necks and headbutt each other. It looks like a dance, but it's a serious matter. The giraffe that withstands the most hits without backing down is declared the winner and earns a higher social status. Giraffes may seem like they have a carefree social life, but it's not all fun and games. Their social behaviors play crucial roles in their survival. Living in groups provides protection from predators, and their complex communication methods help them coordinate movements, find food, and warn each other about potential danger. So while giraffes might not be the most social animals in the traditional sense, they have a unique social structure that suits their lifestyle perfectly. They might not have best friends or throw parties, but they rely on each other for survival. And in the wild, that's what matters the most. In their own unique way, giraffes show us the importance of social connections. Giraffes don't only interact with their kind, they have some interesting friends in the animal kingdom. The vast African savanna is a vibrant, bustling ecosystem where every creature plays a role and giraffes are no exception. One of the most fascinating aspects of giraffes is that they share a symbiotic relationship with several other animals. Symbiotic relationships are those where both parties benefit from each other. Take, for example, the relationship between giraffes and oxpeckers. Oxpeckers are small birds that are often seen perched on a giraffe's long neck and body. They feed on ticks, flies and other parasites that live on the giraffe's skin. This helps keep the giraffe clean and parasite free and in return the oxpeckers get a hearty meal. It's a win-win situation. Then there's the unusual friendship between giraffes and baboons. It may seem odd that these two vastly different creatures would interact, but they do. Baboons are known to eat the fruit of the acacia tree, a favorite food source of the giraffe, but they're messy eaters, often dropping pieces of fruit to the ground. The giraffes, with their towering height, can't easily reach the ground, so these dropped fruits provide an easy snack for them. In return, the giraffe's keen eyesight and towering height offer an early warning system for the baboons. They can spot predators from far away, and their alarm calls alert the baboons to danger. But it's not just about survival and food. Giraffes and these animals often show signs of social bonding, spending time in each other's company, even when there's no immediate benefit. The symbiotic relationships that giraffes share with oxpeckers and baboons are just two examples of the many complex and fascinating interactions in the animal kingdom. These relationships remind us that no creature exists in isolation and they all contribute to the rich tapestry of life. These relationships remind us of the interconnectedness of life on Earth. We've learned a lot about giraffes today, haven't we? Let's take a moment to reflect on the fascinating journey we've been on together. We started by marveling at the elegance of giraffes, didn't we? Their unique gait, a result of moving both legs on one side at the same time, is a sight to behold. This peculiar way of walking, known as pacing, allows them to cover great distances without using much energy. Quite impressive right? We then dove into the biological features that make giraffes the tallest land animals. Remember the giraffe's neck? 
Despite its length, it has the same number of vertebrae as humans. Their hearts, nearly two feet long and weighing about 24 pounds, pump blood all the way up to their brains against gravity. It's like they're living skyscrapers. From their towering heights, we move to their vulnerabilities. Their long necks, while useful for reaching the tops of acacia trees, can make drinking water a risky business. We learned how they have to spread their front legs or bend their knees to reach the water, making them susceptible to predators. Our journey then took us to the social life of giraffes. They might seem solitary, but they're quite the social butterflies. Females live in groups with their offspring, while males form bachelor herds. They communicate through infrasonic sounds too low for human ears to catch. We also explored the relationships giraffes share with other animals. Remember the oxpecker bird? They've got a fantastic partnership. While the bird gets a meal, the giraffe gets a grooming session and an alarm system for approaching danger. It's been an exciting journey understanding these gentle giants. Their grace, resilience and social dynamics are a testament to nature's wonder. Next time you see a giraffe, remember these facts and appreciate this wonderful creature even more. Before we say goodbye, how about a fun trivia and quiz? Let's start with an interesting fact. Did you know that despite their long necks, giraffes actually have the same number of neck vertebrae as humans? That's right, just seven. Now to the quiz. Question one, can you remember what makes a giraffe's gait so unique? That's right, they move the legs on one side of their body at the same time, unlike most other animals. Question two, in which scene did we discuss when giraffes are most vulnerable? If you said scene three, you've been paying attention. Final question, can you recall who the giraffe's best friends are in the animal kingdom, the answer is birds. They help keep them clean and alert them to danger. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey into the world of giraffes. Stay curious.